Hey guys, uh, Daniel here from the CellularGuru.com. Uh, I wanted to do a quick overview today of the new Dolphin HD browser, just to uh, give you a quick glimpse into what I believe the future of browsing on Android is, and just to show you the diversity of uh, Android browsers today. Um, now, as you can see, um, I've loaded up the New York Times here. Um, the new browser is quite similar to the old one um, in the sense that uh, the interface is going to be fairly familiar. Uh, what they do tout, though, are these new gestures that you can just flick to the side either way. So from the left or on the right you can open up a new window and uh, you know hit up Yahoo for example and apparently it supports eight different tabs I haven't tested that yet but uh, it's fairly um, fairly good if that's the case uh, now the other thing that it supports are gestures, and that is also uh, something that has been brought over from the previous version. Now, um, this uh, has preloaded onto it Facebook, so there you go, www.facebook.com, just like that. Uh, it's got also back, forward. And uh, you can customize them based on what you think you're going to use. So, as you can see, you've got a ton of them here, and you can make your own. Uh, the other new thing, sorry, the other thing that I wanted to show you, oh, these Nexus One buttons, man, anybody who has one knows what I'm talking about. Another thing I want to show you is the settings add-ons. And these are new as well. Uh, you actually download them from the, from the uh, marketplace. But for now, there are just a few. But as you can see, it, it's basically like an internal widget and it just gives you access to some new features from inside the browser. So let's go back to installed. And for example, if you want to share the page that you're on currently with Twitter, you would just enter your username and password and uh, it should work. I'm not going to do that right now, but let's try Google Services. Let's go to Google News. And there you go. It just gives you kind of quick access to all the uh, mobile services. Um, if you go to, uh, if we try the New York Times, let's go to the home page very very fast and as you can see pinch to zoom is not working let's see hmm that's interesting There we go. It was working a lot smoother. Let me see if I can fix it. There we go. It is quite smooth. Um, now it doesn't have the flash playback that uh, 
Skyfire has, but uh, overall I think this is a pretty decent browser, and uh, I may end up using it as my main one. So that is your quick overview. Thanks for watching.